guys, in this week's episode as a special feature, you're going to get to hear from some of the writers behind Ask Westeros. Then you'll get the usual questions, answers, and bloopers in the second half of the episode. There are a few writers who aren't featured here, so I wanted to give a special shout out to Caroline, John, Jesse, and Melissa. My favorite part about being on the writing team, I think, was uh, being able to collaborate with some very, very funny people. Somebody would say a joke and other people would write more onto that joke. All of us were laughing, like, nonstop. Uh, one person would say one thing and it was hilarious, but then another person would add to it. Every joke we wrote got combed over and cut down and distilled until it was the best joke that we could make it. We kind of came up with, like, we ended up with, per like, comic personas for all the characters. Yeah. My favorite character to write for, uh, that's kind of hard. Okay, I actually really liked writing for Davos because Davos became like the little engine that could. <laughs> I'm a little biased here, but Stannis Baratheon. Tyrion, Cersei, and Khal Drogo. Definitely Ramsay. I like writing the crazies, <laughs> and he is the craziest crazy that would ever crazied. And then obviously Varys and Littlefinger, because they're the Bert and Ernie of Westeros. <laughs> Definitely Khal Drogo. I think that Ned is a hilarious character to write for because he's so dense. Jorah, he was just fun to write for because you kind of feel bad for him, but at the same time, it's great to make fun of him. Any character who had a pretty good pun, Ed Stark. There's, there's, oh my god, so many head jokes. There's, a, some, there's some good head puns in there. It's, <laughs> it's a treasure trove, really. One of the things I found really challenging about this process was not spoiling anything in the answers. Staying on topic. We had to be so careful about the details because Game of Thrones fans are hardcore. Really just being funny in the first place. I think I'm a funny person, but I have no idea if other people think I'm a funny person. There are just so many characters in these episodes that most answers have to be kept pretty short. I'm cutting down long, elaborate responses into shorter ones that were a lot funnier. I've never shortened a joke and made it less funny. It was just a blast working with the writing team. Sometimes you get a bunch of writers together and things can get kind of snippy. <laughs> yeah. And, but everyone was really very relaxed and chill and just about like, let's make this as good as we can. Yeah. Being able to in some way add something, add some little snippet to the fandom uh, of my own, I just, I was thrilled to be able to be a part of that. I hope you all enjoy it. It was a blast writing it. So I hope you love watching it. And now on to the episode. I'll start us off with the first question. I'm gay, but I haven't told anyone. Should I? Signed, Brendan. Oh, we already know. Who do you think's been blackmailing you for the past three years? Not being honest with yourself is like having a shadow following you wherever you go, always waiting to pounce, lurking, lurking in your tent. You'll never be truly happy with yourself with so many inner demons. Not being honest with yourself is like having a knife in your heart. Most definitely. It leads to such interesting foreplay. Your sex life is no one's business but your own. Never give anyone compromising information about you because they will use it against you. And then you have to have them beheaded and it's this whole thing. Where is the best place to get breast implants? Sign Maria. What? In your breasts, you silly woman. Is that some whole thing you southern women do? I mean... What good does it do to put a breast in a plant? Oh, look at me, I'm a great southern lady. I'm going to go hide me tits in a fern. Southerners. I'm uncomfortable answering questions about body modifications. Implants? Exactly what are we putting into the breasts in question? Is this a one-time use scenario, or are we increasing the value of the breasts in the future? I must admit, this idea is... Intriguing. Here's my card. Let's discuss this at a later date. I'll bring the whores. You bring the breasts. I've been having trouble getting my wife in the mood lately. She says she's not comfortable with herself and doesn't feel attractive. What can I say or do to help her feel sexy again? Signed, Michael. Hmm. Finally. Something that Jon Snow knows. Definitely don't jump in a bear pit and rescue her from an unspeakably gruesome death. Because that is not romantic. No, certainly not. No. <clears throat> well, women love to be made to feel special by gently stroking the... No! No, I'm not touching that. Is, is that a tongue? I need a shower. 
Just follow her around. Treat her like a Khalish queen. Cater to her every whim. Eventually, she will notice. Jora, what do you know about Dario Naharis? He's really fascinating. Eventually, she will notice. Breast, plant, breast, plant. It hurts, but I live for my art, so... I work out, baby. <laughs> How PG do we need to make? <laughs>